So the answer is so the answer is, in short ways thermal energy is internal energy of a, of a body that can be associated to heat. So so it means that uh, is thermal energy is a is a type is a type of energy. It's a and this energy is a special case of internal energy. So it means that a body can have internal energy, and this internal energy can be divided in several groups. And one of them is associated to, to thermal energy. Thermal energy is always associated to heat. So if the thermal energy of a body is very high, it means that the, the, the heat, which is the temperature, is very high. So the uh, the good question is uh, why someone does not just uh, ju uh, uh, just call it heat instead of thermal energy? Why do we need a special word for thermal energy instead of heat or just call temperature? One of the reasons is I that I can see it right now. Maybe later I can see another reason. But one of the reasons that heat is a it's a general term it's a term that has been changed all over the the, the years in the meaning and the the heat of the of the one system cannot be the heat the the heat of the other if you can measure so thermal energy is a, is a way to measure heat so it's a, it's a way to be sure to, to 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 be sure that it, it doesn't matter which which surface you are you are handling it doesn't matter which which matter you are handling all of them can be transformed into into thermal energy and and the energy as you all know can be transformed energy cannot be created cannot be destroyed and is conserved it's uh, so energy can be can be passed over can be can be hand over for one system to the other so you can, for example, the 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 the, the solar energy, which there is somehow here thermal energy present by the infrared rays, you can transform into electrical energy. So you can transform into potential energy, such as when he, when the plant use the heat to create photosynthesis and grows, the the apple we have a we have a a potential energy. When this apple fall, it will fall in the head of Isaac Newton. You make him realize that the the, the laws of the earth and the laws of the of the cosmos and the, of the other universe are the same. So, however, in the most of the cases, the, the apple are not going to fall in the head of in the head of Newton. You fall in the head of somebody else. So uh, you see, so you see that the thermal energy is said to heat, but it's not heat itself because heat is a physical property of the body. In the in this thermal energy is a is abstract property. It's a property that does not be heat. You can say it belongs to a body. It's part of the body, part of the mole molecular structure. It means that the, the heat can be very strong in one system, very weak in the other. However, thermal energy is always thermal energy. Whenever you measure the thermal energy of one system, it has to be the the, the same for any other system. So that's a way to make the what you call the standardization, in which we we, we create a way to measure uh, quantity for uh, in one system to the other. So internal energy is a is a is a is a is a, um, it's a tricky concept because in general it's very difficult to understand. In general, people say that thermal energy, that internal energy is thermal energy, but it cannot necessarily be. So internal energy is an is a is a is a box that scientists created to put aside everything that cannot be associated to a system itself. So that's called internal energy. So it's an energy that's internal to the system. So it means that you can have external energy, of course. For example, when you when you have a, a, let's say if you if you put suppose you put a you put your potato inside the water and start to heat the potato, the thermal energy of the water is external energy of the potato because it is going to heat the potato from from outside, not from inside. Once the potato starts to 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 get to get hot, it have internal energy, which is associated to thermal energy, and they also start to to, to lose some water internal energy, which is the chemical energy that makes the potato to get easier to eat, to get to be softer. A body is a concept that is very is a little bit abstract. It's, a, it's any system that can call a body. It's any system that can can call it is can say that it's a continuous system. So it's a system that it can be measured as a as a unit. It can be for example a, a grain 
uh, a grain of of sand is a is a is a body is very small. Um, uh, according to this definition, we cannot say that the that the electron is a body because it's not continuous. It's a it's a, it's a discrete measure. It's, a, it's one of the smallest measure of the of the, of the, of the, um, of mass. So it's uh, this concept of body here is a classic concept. It's a concept that applied in which for the here in the, the body you can always apply the laws of Newton. On the other hand, when we talk about uh, molecules, electrons, micro um, nano nano bodies, nano system, you have to use the laws of quantum mechanics. So here body for us is a system that is uh, applied in general. And so that this kind of definition of thermal energy, internal energy cannot be applied in general to to, to quantum mechanics. Even the, the laws of the, of the, of the thermodynamics, as far as I know, they have some problem when they, they try to apply it to to um, to the system. I, I'm not quite sure yet. I remember that if I'm not making a mistake, the concept of heat, the perto, cannot be applied to, to an atom or to a, to a very small system. So that's why they have to apply the laws of thermodynamics. <coughs> So uh, in turn, you have you have already discussed that this this concept of a body have already discussed that. So heat, as you had as you have discovered, discussed is a is a kind of a, a internal state of a system. It's, it's expressed according to the current theory. It's called the corpuscular theory of heat. It says that heat is the vibration of the molecule. So uh, the, the the highest the higher is the heat, the high the, the highest will be the vibration of your of the of the internal atoms and molecules of the system. And this theory was used by Einstein when he when he worked with the with the, with some system connected to the Brownian motion. The Brownian motion is just possible because of the of this this idea of, of heat. What's the Brownian motion? Brownian motion is when you you, you, you put uh, um, let's say um, uh, let's say a seed pollen of the, of the flower in the surface of water. And this, if you see in the microscope what was done by Robert Brown, you are going to see that the, 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 the pollen will be vibrating in, uh, in a random way. At the time of Brown, of Red Brown, no one could understand it, neither the time of Einstein. So what I did was to propose a theory which was which now is called Brownian motion or Vini process, in which we try to explain it. it can be just explained by using this concept of corpuscular, corpuscular theory of heat, in which heat is represented by the vibration of the molecule of the, of the system. A very nice experiment which I found by extent. I, I discussed with my, my professor of physics, and he was very, 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 very happy when I seen him this made. It's a very stupid question, but very nice. Uh, every day I wish to make tea. In a, in, a, in, a, in a teapot like this one, it was more or less like this one. I was at the time in Poland, I was with my master in Poland. Most of the, of the, of the place where you go to cook, they are electrical. They're not, uh, they're not uh, gas, as in general uh, I have my country, even where I live now in Italy. So they, they use, they use uh, heat. They use electrical energy to to heat the, the stuff, and they say that's more it's more it's more safe it's safe. So anyway, it's not the problem. But then I have noticed that every time I put water here, and sometimes I also put the the water, and forget the 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 pot half. Suppose that more or less that make my scheme here. Uh, let's see. So. So here is the place where you put the pot. So here the, the, you have the electrical device here. It comes here and create, in, in, in heat that with electricity. So you have to put the pot upon this. So you have several sides, small, big, and so on. Then you have to choose the size of your, of your cycle, when which you are going to heat according to your to your to your pot. See that, that that's not electromagnetic heat. Some some more recent way of you know, of cooking use electrical uh, electromagnetic push push to make it. But this one is it's electrical. It's, uh, it's it get heat. You put your hand on it, you are going to burn. So you can feel the heat close to you. Just way that, the same way that we have a heater that that the kind of heater that and so on. But the, uh, so uh, when I put the pot here, when I put half like this. Stuff starts to vibrate. 
very strong according to the temperature. So the, the highest was the vibration, the higher was the temperature. I have to observe this phenomenon, I have never seen that before because I never had this kind of system in my house. So I decided to, to think about what was happening. So my theory was that the, the molecular of the of the of the of the metal that was was hitting the the heat the teapot was vibrating and I called I, take, I talked to my professor and so on and he took very nice stuff about the paradox of the uh, scientists and so on but anyway that happened because the molecule of the of the of the metal that's hitting the the, the teapot is vibrating so it makes like to balance so it's kind of even fun because but the pot has to be very 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 light it's a kind of very light pot my pot was very light. I believe if you use a very heavy one, you are not going to work. So you can show that heat can be connected to motion. That's what the theory says. That the, the heat is a is a is a measure of the of the movement of your of the system, the corpuscular movement of the system.